sick and tired of potholes and bumps in the roads, we've got some good news. Michigan's roads funding plan has kicked in and Ingham County Road Department has its biggest budget in years. And though there's a not there's a lot to look forward to, Fox 47's Scott Wolchuk tells us where you might be seeing some backups until the construction is complete. Michigan winners can leave the roads looking like this, and Joanne is sick and tired of driving over potholes. I'm tired of seeing people get broken axles, literally seeing them get broken axles. I'm tired of doing repairs on brakes, family members, extended family members doing repairs on brakes. What's wrong with Michigan? What's wrong with Lansing? Well, good news for Joanne. Some of those potholes are about to disappear because Bill Conklin with the Ingham County Road Department says relief is on the way. One project has already started. Cedar Street is reduced down to one lane in both directions from 127 to college, lasting until the fall. We're first going to be attacking those roads that are kind of in fair condition, fair to poor condition, trying to bring those back up. The two other big ones are starting up sometime in July. Holt Road will be down to one lane from downtown to college for a couple months, and they'll be working on the intersection of Okemos and Jolly. It's one of our busiest intersections in the county. Conklin says the final plans for that project are still in the works. So you might end up seeing a lot going on there, or most of it might wait until next year. Conklin says none of this would be possible without the road funding plan that raised gas taxes and vehicle registration. We'd probably be just in an emergency reactive patching and in emergency maintenance mode if it hadn't been for that road funding. It gave them about $3 million to work with. They expect to have an even bigger budget because of the plan in 2018. In Mason, Scott Walchek, Fox 47 News. Department of Transportation has some big plans as well. One of them is going on right now. Daily lane closures on US 127 just south of Mason.